I can't get the printer to work. Did you check to see if it had paper? Yeah, that's the first thing I checked. I don't know then. You might have to call the technician. How do I do that? Just tell the admin and she should take care of it. Is there another printer that I can use? Yeah, there's one down the hall next to the supply room. Oh yeah, I remember that one. Thanks. No problem. Do you have a lot of work? Yeah, I'm pretty busy. Why? Oh, I need some help on documenting this process. Does this have to be done right now? The manager wants it by Friday. I'll try to free up my schedule. Remind me again tomorrow morning, and I'll help you in the afternoon. Do you need to read the documents first? Yeah, that would help. I'll print you a copy and then drop them off. Make sure you drop it off before five because I have to leave early. No problem. Thanks. Are you new here? Yeah, I just started yesterday. Welcome aboard. I'm Jack. I'm Mark. Nice to meet you. What are you going to be working on? I'm going to work on the planning team, but I haven't started yet. I'm still in training. The planning team is great. Our marketing team works with them closely. We'll end up working together sometimes. That's great. Oh, can I ask you some questions? Sure. Does this company have a casual Friday? Not really. You can get away with wearing slacks, but I've never seen anyone wear jeans. That's all right. Do you know any good places to eat around here? Yeah, there's a deli right across the street. They have fresh sandwiches and sometimes hot dishes like teriyaki. It's pretty good. That sounds good. Thanks for the info. No problem. If you need anything, I sit right around the corner here. Jack, can I see you in my office? Sure. You have been late three times in the last two weeks. Is this going to be a continual problem? I'm so sorry. I really got unlucky this morning. Being late once in a while is based on luck. If you are late frequently, it shows that you're irresponsible. How are we going to fix it? Last week I had a lot of personal problems. I took care of all those problems and I don't have any excuse to be late anymore. I planned on coming into the office early today, but there was an accident that held up traffic. You better start anticipating all problems because I'm not going to tolerate your tardiness any longer. Is that clear? Perfectly clear. I will not be late again. That's all. Hey Martha, is there anything urgent that needs to be done today? No, I don't believe so. Why? I have a terrible headache, and I was wondering if it'd be okay if I could leave a little early today. I don't see why not. You can make up the time later in the week. That's what I was thinking too. But as for today, I don't think I can be productive. It's already two o'clock now. What time were you going to leave? I'm just going to wrap up and leave pretty soon. Probably in about thirty minutes. Okay. Get some rest. If you are sick tomorrow, give me a call. All right. Thanks. I'll see you tomorrow. Hi, Martha. This is Jack. I think I caught a flu or something. I feel worse than yesterday. You better stay home today then. I think that will be best. I'll log my sick day tomorrow when I get in. No problem. Just get some rest. We have everything covered here, so don't worry. Okay. Just in case something happens, you can call me at home. I'll be here all day. Okay. Thanks for calling. I'll see you when you get better. All right. Thanks. Bye. Barbara, did you finish the report on XYZ Company? Yes, I just finished today. I would like to review them before we send the report. Can you give me a copy? Sure. Would you like a hard copy? No, just send me the path to the location of the report. I'll look them over on my computer. Sure. I'll give you permission for the folder. You can find them at Barbara zero one slash X Y Z. I'll give you permission right now. Great. Thanks. John, are you having problems with your network? I think our whole network is down for upgrades. It should be back up in an hour. That's too late. I need the review documents from the company network share. I have a copy of that on my computer. Really? Can I get a copy? Sure. But since the network is down, I'll have to put it on a disk for you. That would be great. Do you have a floppy disk? I think I have one on my desk. Here it is. Okay. It's saving now. Here you go. Thanks. You saved me a great deal of trouble. I'm so glad you had a copy of this on your machine. No problem. I'm glad I could help. Don't we need a tax software to do this work? Yeah. Don't you have it installed on your computer? No. They said they would install it for me, but they didn't do it yet. Go ask your manager. He probably forgot. That's a good idea. Is there an instruction manual for this software? It's in the second file cabinet under software applications. Thanks. I'll probably need it when I get the software. 
Actually, it's not that difficult to use. I think you should be able to figure it out without the manual. The manual is only good for advanced options that we don't really need. You're probably right. Many of the manuals I've read were not that helpful. Do you mind if I come to you for questions when I'm using the software? None at all. Feel free to ask any question. If I know the answer, I'll let you know. Great. I better go find the manager to get the software installed on my computer. I'll have the report ready for review tonight. Will you be able to look at it tomorrow? I'm not going to be in the office tomorrow. Can you email it to me? I'll look at it from home. Sure. What's your email address? It is someone at hotmail.com. The file's pretty big. Will the email allow me to send a file that big? If it is under one megabyte, you shouldn't have a problem. I don't think it's that big. I'll send it tonight. Just get back to me when you finish the review tomorrow. Okay, I should be done with it by noon. That'd be great. Thanks. The manager wants us to work on the data analysis together. Did you get an email from her? Yeah, you were on the two line as well. I never got it yet. When did you get the mail? I got it about 30 minutes ago. Should we have her send the mail again? Nah, I don't want to bother her right now. Can you just forward the mail to me? No problem. I'll do it now. I'm still not getting it. Maybe your exchange server is down. I think you're right. Can you send it to my personal account? It is someone at hotmail.com. Sure. Sending now. I got it. Thanks for forwarding me the mail. After I read it, let's get together to discuss how we are going to work on the data analysis. Perfect. Just ping me whenever. Hi, Jack. This is Cindy from the audit team. Hi, Cindy. I'm calling in regards to the 2003 bank statements you sent over to me last week. I cannot find the August statement. Can you resend that one by any chance? I can fax them over to you in about an hour. Would that be okay? That would be great. I also have questions on several of the withdrawals. Do you know who I should contact to straighten this out? You should talk to Joe Smith. He's our senior accountant over here. His number is 555 one two three four five six seven that was joe smith at five 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 one two three four five six seven that's correct do you have his email address i might need it later sure it's joe smith at our company dot com joe smith at our company dot com okay thanks for all your help no problem have a good day you too Thanks again. Bye. Hello, this is Steve. Hey Steve, it's Mary from ABC Company. I'm returning your call. Hi Mary, how are you doing? I'm doing great, thanks. Thanks for returning my call. I couldn't figure out why the ending balance on fiscal year 2003 didn't match the beginning balance on 2004. When I checked it was matching, how much is the difference? The amount is exactly $42,000. Oh, I know what the problem is. We opened another bank account at the end of fiscal year 2003. I might not have included the new bank statements when I sent over the information. That makes sense. I'm just glad it wasn't out of my miscalculation. Can you send over the statements? I should be done by end of day since everything looks good. Sure. I'll fax them to you immediately. Is 555-123-4567 the number I should fax it to? Yes, that is the correct number. I'll do it right now. Thank you for your help. I should have sent them over to you the first time. I apologize for that. No problem. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Hello, ABC Company. Hi, this is Janet from Consult RS. May I speak with Alex, please? He's in a meeting right now. Would you like to leave a message? Yes. Can you have Alex call me back when he is available? My name again is Janet, and he can reach me at 555-987-6543. It's Janet at 555-987-6543. Can I tell him what this is regarding? He sent over a fax, and the last page didn't print out. I will need for him to resend the fax to me. I'll let him know. Thank you. Thank you for calling ABC. Goodbye. Microsoft, this is Steve. Hi, Steve. This is Richard from Third Hand Testing. I'm calling in regards to the MSN assignment. Do you have a minute to answer a couple questions? Sure. What can I help you with? We originally agreed on five testing procedures, but our program manager received a mail indicating four testing procedures. Is four the correct number? Yes, it is. We found out that we can do the last one here. Great. Does the timeline change because we reduced one of the testing procedures? Well, we don't have to change the timeline. Our original time frame was very aggressive. That makes our job a little easier. Do you have any other questions? No, that's all I had. Thanks for your time. No problem. 
Okay, goodbye. Bye. Hey Jack, how's your day going? Just finishing the project. Other than that, not much. How about you? I'm just about finished for the day. I have one more task to do, but I wanted to take a break first. Did you have to work with Jake on that project? Unfortunately, yes. Oh my gosh, I feel so sorry for you. Don't remind me. I'm just glad it's over. Yeah, I remember when I worked on the data conversion tool with him. Everything he did, I had to redo. It would have been faster if I did it alone. That's exactly what happened to me. It took me longer because I had to redo everything he did. That really pissed me off. Next time the manager wants me to do a project with him, I'm going to tell him that I will do it myself. That's a good idea. Hopefully the manager will realize how useless he is. Exactly. If you're not busy, you can do my work. <laughs> I got enough to do. Yeah, I'm just kidding. All right, dude. I better finish my work. I'll talk to you later. Hey, Jordan. Did you go to that team meeting this morning? Yeah. The manager presented a new project to us that we'll have to do. Damn it. I shouldn't have missed that meeting, but I was stuck in another meeting. What else did you guys talk about? Everything else was the same. We talked about progress of current assignments, due dates, about hiring another worker. That's all. What's the new project about? It's hard to explain. She sent out mail to all of us. You can just review the document she sent out. Okay, I'll do that. Hey, Bob, do you have a few minutes? Sure, what's up? I'm having problems with my computer. I don't know what's wrong with it. Let's go take a look at it. Oh, here's the problem. You have a boot sector virus. Install the antivirus software. That should take care of the problem. Great, thanks. How's your day going? The same as usual. How about you? Me too. I'm getting sick of work, man. I'm already past that stage. What are you still doing here then? It pays the bills. Why don't you find another job? Well, I thought about it. But if I put in two more years and I get a good pension, I can't give that up. Anyways, this job is boring, but at least it's easy. Well, you've been here for eight years. You have something to stay for. I've only been here for two years. I can't see myself doing this for another two years. I want to gain more experience in other areas. Have you brought this up to the boss? Maybe you can go into management. They usually want a person with an MBA degree or a person willing to put in 80 hours a week. That's what it takes, man. Either this or that. Yeah, I better think about what I want. Why didn't you go into management? It would have taken too much time. I have a family that I want to spend time with, so it wasn't worth it for me. But you're single. You can put in a good few years and put yourself in a good position before thinking about settling down. You have a point. I'll see what my options are. Hopefully the manager will help me out with my career. She's pretty cool about that. Just be honest with her and she'll show you some doors. That sounds good. Thanks for the advice. No problem. Good luck. Hi Matt. I finished the assignment on the documents. Did you get a chance to review them? Yeah. I already reviewed them. It was pretty good. Since it was my first project, I was wondering if I can get some feedback. Well, you finished the project in time, and seeing how it was your first assignment, you did very well. Thanks. If it wasn't my first assignment, where do you think I need to improve? That's a fair question. I think you could have spent a little more time documenting the difference between process A and process B. You showed a lot of the similarities, but lacking a little on the differences. I'll keep that in mind. How about the structure? I changed the template a little because I wanted to add a section for recommendation. I like the addition. Usually people just enter it into the comment section on the bottom, but having a clear section makes it stand out. That was good. Was there anything else? I like to get feedback early so I can improve. No problem. Everything else on the assignment was great. The only other tip I can give you is sending me more updates. If I knew you were stuck on section C for a while, I could have saved you a lot of time. So keep me aware on your status. That makes sense. I'll do that. Thanks for the feedback. Don't mention it, and good job on the assignment. Thanks. Hi, Mark. I completed Project A and didn't have anything else to work on. Should I find something to do, or did you have something lined up? I won't have another assignment for you until next Monday. What will we be doing until then? I'm not sure. I was thinking about investigating the reporting issue we were having, but that's a low priority now. But if there's nothing else to do, it might be good to finally fix that. How about John? He told me that he needed a little help on Project C. Why don't you ask him if he still needs help? If not, then check out the reporting issue. John? I've been meaning to talk to you about him. What's the problem? I don't want to be out of line, but he's very difficult to work with. 
He looks over my shoulder all the time and doesn't like how I am doing things. Yeah, he is like that. I appreciate your feedback, and you are not the first to bring this up. Although he is difficult, he does get a lot of work done around here. I completely agree, and I will continue to work with him as well as I can. I just thought I should let you know instead of keeping it bottled up. I appreciate your honesty, but for now, you're going to have to tolerate his methods a little longer. I'll see if the director is willing to have a talk with John about this problem. Okay. Well, I'll go see what type of help John needs. If there is nothing, I'll work on the reporting problem. Either way, I'll send you an email letting you know what I am working on. That would be perfect. Thanks. Thanks. I'll talk to you later. Okay. Bye. John, are you going to complete the report on time? I am confident that I will have it done by this Friday. How far along are you? I have completed the preliminary review, analyzed the data, and I am almost done writing the analytical review. That's great. It looks like you are ahead of schedule. When you are done, send it to me for review. I'll send it to you Friday morning. That should give you a day to review it. That's great. Keep up the good work. Can you give me an update on your assignments? Yeah. <clears throat> I'm helping with the performance testing. I've met with the partners for the integration project, and I'm finishing up the documents on the internal tool. That's good. Can you start sending me a weekly report? That will help me keep track of your progress regularly. No problem. Do you want it by the start of Monday, or do you want it Friday evening? I'm probably not going to read it until Monday, so just send it to me by Monday morning. What do you want me to include in the weekly report? Include what you did for the week, what you're going to do for the next week, and include any other issues you have. I'll start doing that this week. Great. Thanks. John, can I see you in my office? I'll be right over. Have a seat. I'm concerned about your performance lately. Is there something I should know about? I've been pretty occupied at home. I apologize for letting it affect work. I'll definitely pay more attention. I understand, but I'm still having to take some heat on your work. You have been late numerous times, your projects are not as detailed as it used to be, and you missed a deadline last week. I'm really sorry, and I won't let it happen again. I understand that I have been underperforming, and I will step it up. I hope so. I'll explain it to the director, but I don't know how much more he will tolerate. That's all I had, so you better go back to work. Okay. I really will change things around. Thanks for understanding. Hey, Mark. I'm assigning you on the Tully project. You'll have to go to California in two weeks. What is my objective over there? You have to review financial documents over there. If you find something missing, work with our accountants to get the documents you need to complete the analysis. How large is this project? It's pretty big, so take someone with you. I think you can finish in a week if two of you are working on it. Do we have to arrive there at a certain time? Not really, but you should get there before lunch to settle in. Then you can get in a half a day. Who should I contact when I get there? I'll email you the details, but you should go book your flight soon. Will do. Do you have a recommendation on who should go with me? Either Seth or Josh. Okay, I'll find out who has more time. Great, keep me informed. Got it. Hey Seth, you want to go to lunch soon? How about in 30 minutes? I'm almost done with this section. Okay. Where do you want to eat? I'm okay with anything, but let's go to a fast food place. There's a Burger King around the corner. Let's go there. Sounds good. One quick question. I'm going to finish all my work tomorrow. If we finish tomorrow, I suggest we head back home tomorrow evening. What do you think? I think that's doable. We'll see how much we get done today, and if we're close, I'll let them know that we'll be done tomorrow. Sounds good. How are things at work? It's not too bad, but I hate our office setting. Are you in a cubicle? No, I would be happy with a cubicle, but we have ten desks all in a large room. The supervisor is at one end, with a view of everyone. That sucks. You have no privacy. I know. I can't even take a small break because everyone is watching. But that's not the worst part. I can hear everyone talking all day long, and it's so distracting. I feel sorry for you. I can't even complain about something to the supervisor because everyone can hear. Why do they have the office set up like that? I'm not sure. Maybe they want to save money. Or maybe they think it's more effective. Is anybody in an office? Only the people above the supervisor. Maybe if they got out of their office and worked in the open space, they would realize how terrible it is. I guess. I'll just have to tolerate it for now. Do you have cubicles in your company? No. Everyone has their own office. You're so lucky. I'm in a cubicle. I'm so glad we have our own office. There's so much privacy and we can take breaks whenever we want. How does management know if you're working or not? 
Our company doesn't really keep track of little details. Our performance is based on our assignments and projects. Management doesn't care what is done, they just want the person to do a good job and to turn it in on time. I like that method. In our company, our manager wants to know every detail, almost every hour. If we are a little behind, the manager gets mad and starts worrying. I would hate that environment. I agree. It's not a good work environment. Do you ever play video games in your office? Mm, not when it's busy, but when they're experiencing a little downtime, I close the door and play a game of StarCraft. If someone comes in, I quickly switch the view on a monitor. You're so lucky. I don't take it for granted, but I wouldn't mind an office window soon. Shut up, freak. It's that time of year again. Yeah, I always get nervous during this time. It shouldn't go too bad. So how did I do this year? Let me first ask you how you feel about your performance. I think I improved a lot and made a lot of great contributions. I completed all my assignments ahead of schedule. I volunteered for two more extra projects and mentored a couple of our new employees. I agree. You did great this year. I got your rating back from upper management and it's not bad, but it's not the best. You received a 3.5, a 4% raise, and an 8% bonus. I got a 3.5? Why? I was really expecting a 4 this year. I really worked hard. Unfortunately, we can't give everyone a 4. There were a lot of people who did great this year and we only had a few 4s to give. You barely missed the cut. What could I have done to get a 4? I thought I did everything to deserve one. I agree. I think you should have received a 4, but the only thing I can suggest is for you to be more visible. The people who beat you this year didn't necessarily do better work than you. It's just that people knew the work they were doing more than yours. You need to stand out a little better. How do I do that? It doesn't make sense. If I work my ass off and I do great work, why does it matter if I show off or not? If three people are equal in their work, the only deciding factor is how much of the work they know about. Since upper management cannot know the details of everything, they mainly see the people who are visible. You can do this by taking on projects that affect the whole team so everyone can see, or you can be proactive in finding places for improvement, and sending out a mail to management with your ideas. If I did a great job, why did I only get a 4% raise? You got a high raise comparing to other people. The average raise throughout the company was 2%. They cut back a lot on raises due to the slow economy. I'm a little disappointed. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Think about what I said and we'll try to give you more assignments with more visibility. Hi, Mark. I have something important to tell you. Come on in. What's on your mind? Well, I have decided to leave the company. I had a wonderful time here, but it's time to move on for me. May I ask why? I got an offer from ABC Company. It's a management position and I really don't want to let this opportunity pass me by. You know I have been looking for a management position here, but all the positions here are full. I understand your decision and you have my support. Thanks for understanding. I can work here for two more weeks. Okay. Will you be able to finish your current assignment? Yes, I will. And if you hire someone within two weeks, I would be happy to provide training in my areas. That would be great. We're going to miss you here. I'm going to miss this place too. Thanks. Hi Mary. I interviewed with another company and they offered me a position. I wanted to let you know before I made my decision. I'm sorry to hear that, but I appreciate you telling me before you accepted the offer. I really enjoy my work here, but I was concerned about the lack of opportunities. I put an effort to gain more experience here, but the projects are limited. What would help you to decide to stay? I would consider staying more if I could change my position. I would love to stay in this group, but I would love to be doing something different. And finally, they offered me 6% more than my current salary. When do you have to make a decision by? They want me to respond in a week. Let me see what I can do, and I'll let you know tomorrow or on Wednesday. Can you wait until then? That's not a problem. Great. I'm going to do everything I can to keep you on board. I appreciate what you are doing for me. It's the least I can do. You're a valuable asset here.